formerly known as the QX56, Infinity rebranded the name and called it the QX80 in 2014. Today we have with us the all-new 2018 QX80 that just radiates confidence and has boundless potential on the roads. So without further ado, let me show you what this luxury pack mean machine is all about. generation QX 80s honestly didn't look their best. They look like very well-fed patrols. But this new one is beautiful and so sleek. What's new, number one, is the grills. They have a beautiful wavy pattern to it and they rest inside a double arch grill, which makes it look very commanding. What's also new is that the headlights now rest three inches higher and they're complete LEDs with also LED fog lamps. What's very interesting is that the blinkers, when you turn them on, the complete LED panel turns from white to yellow and back. So at night, it looks beautiful on the streets. Coming over to the side, we have 22 inch alloy wheels and a very different fender bend from before. Before they were just three little holes here, but now it looks very sleek. So overall, the complete front facelift now has a very prestigious and a very commanding look to it. I believe it looks very impressive compared to before. So the back is a little interesting for me. It has a new set of LED taillights along with a connecting chrome strip. Why this is kind of funny for me is because I kind of think it resembles a stormtrooper. Tell me if you feel that way in the comments below because I really think it looks like that. So all in all, the QX80 is finally done with its puberty phase and is now a handsome young man. It's a good job, Infinity, with the new look. Coming to the interiors, it is absolutely luxury packed. It comfortably seats eight people. It has, of course, wood detailing and stitch detailing. What I love about the interiors is that remember the grills on the outside, the new wavy grills that it has? They've implemented that in the interiors. So I think that's a very wise way of bringing a new design into the interiors as well. So you have that detailed over the seats, on the side of the doors, at the back as well. So very, very well done on that Infinity. So talking about the features of the car. So let's begin with the seats. It has completely automatic seats. You also have seat memory that could be adjusted from right over here. You can set in two profiles. The steering wheel is very luxurious. It has these beautiful stitches right around here, which makes it feel really, really good. You have adaptive cruise control on your right, controls to the infotainment on your left and voice command. It has an eight inch touchscreen. And if you don't want to use the touch, you can also use this little hover knob over here to maneuver around. It has your basic commands all over here, the cameras and the climate control, which is a tri-zone climate control. It has a six disc CD change system right there. It also has the USB charging ports, which are now on the outside, which were previously buried right under this storage over here. So it's good that now that it's on the outside. For the lazy people, this should be a pretty good feature. You can fold the seats in the middle row as well as the back row from these little knobs right over here. So that makes it very convenient rather than for you to step out of the car. It has uh, temperature control for your seats, so your heated seats or your cool seats. The cup holders are interesting because it has a small one as well as a large one. So in case you have a big mug, you can definitely have that put in right over here. It has a cool box storage and a large storage as well. It's pretty deep in, which could also be air conditioned. So that keeps your stuff cool in there. So to be very honest, in terms of technology, the car hasn't matched up to its name. It is very, very, very outdated. For instance, the sunroof also, I would prefer a panoramic sunroof, but this just has one little sunroof right over here. So in terms of technology, it has very 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 negative marking it could have definitely done a lot better considering how expensive the car is and in terms of luxury that it's met up in all the other ways technology wise very 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 poor the QX80 
has a 5.6 liter V8 with 400 horses under the hood and 560 Newton meters of torque. It does a fabulous job in terms of stability. It is very smooth on the roads. Now considering the torque, it brings you from zero to 100 in about seven seconds. This weighs three tons. So seven seconds is a really, really, really good number to have there because the engine is very, very powerful. Coming to the adaptive cruise control, that is very impressive in the car. For instance, you can see it's slowing down at the moment and it would very gradually increase and very gently as well. So it doesn't have the odd jerk that it usually would on a couple of other brands. So it is a very smooth transition from the lower down speed and back up to the set cruise speed. In terms of the off-road experience, you have three drive modes, which is auto, a four high and a four low. It also has the option of a snow mode. Unfortunately, we don't use that here in the UAE, but I'm sure it does a fine job on sand in terms of grip on the tires. So things to note in terms of the drive, definitely beautiful stability, very smooth, and the adaptive cruise control, according to me, is very good. Unfortunately, the graphics are not very impressive of it and the technology could have been a little better, but in terms of performance, it is absolutely brilliant. So the important question to answer is how much does this mean machine cost? In the UAE, it costs 402,000 dirhams, which is much lesser than its rival the Lexus LX570. So to conclude my review on the QX80, I think it is a fabulous car, extremely prestigious, beautiful on the streets, extremely smooth, and it is packed with luxury. Although it is a heavy fuel drinker and is majorly outdated with its technology. Let me know what you think about the car in the comments below and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.